December 11, 1961. Elvis Presley started a 20-week run at number one on the U.S. album chart with Blue Hawaii, his seventh U.S. number one album. December 11, 1961. The Marvelettes went to number one on the U.S. singles chart with Please Mr. Postman. The session musicians on the track included 22-year-old Marvin Gaye on drums. The song gave the Carpenters a U.S. number one and U.K. number two single in 1975. December 11, 1964. Soul singer Sam Cooke was shot dead at the Hacienda Motel in Los Angeles, California. Bertha Franklin, manager of the motel, told police that she shot and killed Cooke in self-defense because he had attacked her. Police found Cooke's body in Franklin's apartment office, clad only in a sports jacket and shoes, but no shirt, pants or underwear. The shooting was ultimately ruled a justifiable homicide. December 11, 1968. The Rolling Stones began filming the rock and roll circus. As well as clowns and acrobats, John Lennon and his fiancée Yoko Ono performed as part of a supergroup called the Dirty Mac, along with Eric Clapton, Mitch Mitchell, and Keith Richards. It was originally meant to be aired on the BBC, but the Rolling Stones withheld it because they were unhappy with their performance. The film was eventually released in 1996. December 11, 1972. James Brown was arrested after a show in Tennessee for trying to incite a riot. Brown threatened to sue the city for a million dollars, the charges were later dropped. December 11, 1973. Kiss guitarist Ace Fraley was nearly electrocuted during a concert in Florida when he touched a short-circuited light. The guitarist was carried from the stage but returned 10 minutes later to finish the show. And that's a wraps for this day in rock and roll history. If you've enjoyed the journey, hit subscribe for more music memories. See you tomorrow for another groove-filled day.